How are you? Really? You don't say, oh, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Don't you even think about it. You're not going anywhere. Because now you're in the land of Larry's Fountain Pens Review. No, there's nothing wrong with your TV set or your computer or any of your gadgets. The incredible journey of fountain pens will begin before your eyes. Starting with my buddy Godzilla carrying one of his pens. He wants to show you right here. And we'll take off the little sleeve it comes in. For real. Trust me on this. Beautiful, stunning fountain pen. Absolutely stunning. The picture doesn't do any justice for this pen as far as the color, the sharpness, the way it pops. It's just a beautiful color they've done. And the name of the pen, Mr. Announcer, is... Lambatu. Now, I had Mr. Announcer look up Lambatu to see what it means. Well, it's a Chinese name that he could find. And what did it define the, uh, the name to be what? Google Translate uh, put it out as Chinese for bad writing. And very interesting. If that is correct... Stands for bad writing. Well, maybe they meant good writing. Well, I have no idea because, well, don't know yet until we write with it, right? Now, Godzilla here thinks it's a pretty darn nice pen. So, if I can keep him from getting overexcited, because then when he does, he'll throw flames out. We don't want that. Let's go ahead and take the pen off from Mr. Godzuki. Can you stand up here? So, here we go. Right here. Here is the pen, and we're going to let Charlie Brown come over here for a while. Here we go. Now, the Labatou fountain pen is a metal pen. And I, it has this nice texture on it. And it's not slippery. It's not hard. It's just really... A real fine texture they put over the metal. And however they did it and whatever material they use, they really did a really nice job on this pen. What do you think about it so far? Well, let's go into depth on this pen. The clip. It's a tight one. But it's kind of different where it goes upwards. So what I'm going to do is put it in my pocket. And it is fine. Right in there. So I was concerned about that, but not a problem. And uh, kind of looks like a thin cigar to me anyway. Really nicely done. And it has the name of the pen, Lampitu. Right here, can we get a good close-up on that? And the logo. And it's the 3072 Landmatu. All right, so that's the name and the number they have on this band, wide band at the bottom of the cap. It's in black with two narrow bands on top of the black band with the name and the pin number engraved nicely in the black band. And it does thin out when you go down the barrel right about in here. Now this pen weighs in at 26.2 G's. Now the length of this pen is going to come in at closed as you see it here 5.47 inches. It's a pull-off cap, and let's see how it posts. Looks like it posts nice and securely, and that would be in at 5.83 inches. So if you don't want to post your pin, I have small hands, so it does fairly decent. 
but if you have larger hands you might have a problem but you can hold it up here if you want and it doesn't bother me to hold a pen up here so for some folks it might now let's talk about the grip section you know a lot of folks don't like the grip section and i can understand because your fingers can get slippery on the grip section and just slide right on down to the nib and then you're inkified oh my stars and you have to wash your hands mmm mercy me get a ring for that so I would say this grip is not as slippery as a full chrome grip it does have a little bit of to be slippery but not as pronounced as I've had some other grips that are all chrome. What do you think about that grip? I don't drop the pen. Uh, well yeah it's it's a little slippery but the texture up on the body makes up the difference. I can my thumb gets the texture and it feels easy to hold. So what Mr. Announcer does to help with that grip section, he'll just probably hold it up here, wouldn't you? Yes. When you write, so that's going to take care of it. But that's entirely up to you. Now let's talk about this nib. It's a hooded nib. Yes, it is. Hooded. And it is an extra fine nib. And there's a small feed right there. And uh, there is the pattern right there, and that could be, I'm going to guess, I don't know, maybe the pattern that this uh, pen uses for decorations, maybe, or logo, maybe. I'm just a guessing here. But it's a nice-looking nib. It's a nice-looking grip. I, I do like it. You don't have to have a whole lot of stuff on your nib to make it look cool. This right here kind of looks cool to me. I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of Space, Star Trek, stuff like that. Well, it, it, it's actually very close to being the Federation symbol. I like that. See there? Huh. Call me the Space Traveler. I come from another dimension. Boom, 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 boom. So, let's untwist the barrel, okay? And it does come with a converter. I guess you just, your standard converter. And let's try to, you pull it out and you push it back in. And it's a nice, tight, snug fit. So, it's not going to come out for no reason. And I like that. That's really important. Have you ever uh, had a uh, ink up your pen and you put it in your bottle of ink and you start to ink it and the converter slips out and there goes your your nib in the pen? Then you have to go ink fishing to get your nib out. That's a bummer. You dropped the nib in, in ink one time, didn't that happen? You, yes, I had to find tweezers or something or empty it out in another bottle or something. Yeah, that was a bummer. That was years ago. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Oh, sure. Announcer. You're so helpful whatever so anyway so let you hear the metal here it is a metal though for sure looking inside but it it is gorgeous so here is your pen nice I think so how much does this pen cost got it off eBay for four dollars and ninety nine cents and free shipping so not a bad uh, buy uh, so what do you say we ink it up with some Birmingham celestial blue what do you think about that hmm really okay and then I think I'm going to use some Tomo River paper to write on what a treat, right? Yes, it is a treat! Hello! Okay, calm down. Calm down. Hmm. When's my next psychiatrist appointment? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, they all fired you. Hmm.
And that should be enough ink, I'm thinking, to test this pen out. Here we go. Now the great fun in cleaning it off. All right, here we go. We're inked up and ready to rock and roll, baby. So let's set this aside. Let's get Godzuki over here because he might want to look a little bit like that. And we'll set Peanuts and the Charlie Brown gang and all them, whoever they are, out of the way. And crack my fingers a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cap it. Now I'm going to see something for a minute here when I cap it. La, 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 la. I want to see how it's going to feel back here. Feels really nice to the touch. Beautiful pen. Here we go. All right. What was that number on this pen? The 3072. Very good. Very good. And this, my friends, is a EF for... Extra fine. Very good, Mr. Announcer. And this is a... Very sweet. And the ink I'm using is going to be from Birmingham. Have you all heard of Birmingham pens? Sure you have. And it's going to be called the Beautiful color of ink. Little wet sea test. Look at that. Okay, off the bat, this nib is to die for. You can say what you want. That's cool. But this pen, smooth, wet. I'm starting to fall in love with this pen and the nib. Now writing time. Are you ready? Here we go. Does that look a little thick to be an extra fine? Yeah, I was going to get there in a minute. Oh, brown dummy. Mm -hmm. It's your announcer to my concentration off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, I did it again. And put a look at that. The, I hope y'all are still with me. I hope you haven't gone anywhere. Dog, all right. Just do a few little swirls here. Has some really great ink flow. Great pen. Smooth nib, great pen. Now let's try the reverse writing. Now this would look more right here. It does write very well, reverse writing, more of a fine. And you see up here, it's writing more of a medium. Or some would rather say fine medium. 
Look at that downstroke and cross stroke. It sure looks to me more like me, excuse me, burping here, medium hiccups. Fast riding. Look at that. All right, there you have it. Beautiful pen, stunning. I love the color. I love the texture on the pen. I love the feel, fits nicely in the hand. Has a great ink flow, a nice smooth nib, hooded nib. Comes with a converter, nice clip. The nib's supposed to be extra fine, it's Chinese, so for me it's more like a medium or fine medium. When you do a reverse writing, you'll get more of a fine. $4.99, that's a steal. For this pen, yes. And the reason why I got this pen is because I've had this same brand before and I was really impressed with their pens and I really enjoy them but you know if you're just now falling down the rabbit hole and you looking for a great starter pen looking no further this is a dynamite pen for a dynamite price if you're on a strict budget like you have hardly any coins this will really meet your needs you know you're going to have a good looking fountain pen to be proud of but it's what's under the hood that counts you're going to have a real sweet nice smooth wet nib which you will really enjoy because that's what it's all about at least for me I could have the most beautiful most expensive pen in the world and if that nib is scratchy dry Poor ink flow, well that sucks. That's a big turn off. That's a huge turn off. I don't care what anybody says. That's just my opinion for my pens. So, you know, I you know, when I get a pen, I expect a pen to perform right out of the box. End of story. I don't want to hear no excuses. Have better quality control to fix that. That's the pen maker's problem, not mine. I pay for a pen that I want to write right out of the box. I don't want it to scratch your nibs. I don't want the times off. I want a nice, smooth, wet nib. That's just me. You know, everybody has their own opinion, but that's mine. I'm just telling you how I feel about it. So, I'm really glad I got this pen. I really, really am glad. I really hope you enjoyed this review because this is really a honest, positive review on this pen sensational pen wow what do i not like about the pen nothing may have to get another one different color just because i can and i will hmm folks last but not least check out birmingham inks to die for Definitely to die for. Dynamite inks with a dynamite price. And if you haven't heard yet, you know, I've been talking last year and year before last, I've been talking it up a while about Birmingham pens, about uh, needing a clip on their pens. And I've mentioned this before a year ago, two years ago, that I've been talking to Birmingham pens about putting a clip. And you can check some of my later videos and uh, you can hear me mention the uh about the clip on the pen it was last year year before last i think and before that so i've been talking to them and they do listen because they came out with uh their newest model with a clip and i think nick or josh said they sold that in a day or two bam gone no i don't have one so they were gone that quick so they did listen so if i ever get one i will show you the pen and give you 
my honest thoughts on the pen. So, that's going to do it for now, my friends. So, with that said, let me bring Godzuki Godzilli back. And he's going to have the whole nine yards. All right, folks. That's it for today's show. And remember, follow the rules. Don't be a moron. And don't text and drive. Seriously, now. I'm talking. That's what Judge Render says. Cool dude. So, with that said, peace and love to each and every one of you. You guys are rock stars. Did you know that? Did you really, really know that? Look close, close, get a close up. Close, come closer, come closer, come close. Stop! Bam! Well, folks, time for me to say au revoir. See you later, alligator. Be cool like your school, baby. It's all good here. Ain't nothing but a thing. Rock and roll is here to stay. Wow. See you later. Peace out and bam. We're 